they're called like, they're called here. tourists. Susie. Wild <laughs> hogs. Yeah, they're called hogs, white people. Yeah. Susie. So they, they 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 root up all the stuff to search for food, and then when it rains in Hawaii, it so all right. rolls downhill, and then so all the right. soot that they loosened uh, covers up, makes the water foggy, and it makes it so the the reefs can't get uh, fresh sunlight. So do I. The more you know. I do that okay. too. Okay, this makes sense. But and isn't also... also the sunscreen we wear destroying the reefs and shit like I that? I mean, and just humans in general, I think, are yeah. destroying the world. But... It's fair um, enough. Yeah. yeah. Cruise Ooh. ships apparently fuck up a lot of. They're so loud underwater that they kill mm. animals by the sound. Cruise ships <laughs> shouldn't exist, and that's a topic. One thing. Beer beat. Uh, and more practical. One thing I like about doing Zoom is you could, like do like the smaller window where it's not the whole screen, and like because you know, on, on on the actual Twitch is the delay. Yeah. But you, I just make the zoom window that's the real time the same size as the window on Twitch and just put it on top of it. So I have the Look real time. It's too hard. So it sounds like a lot. Yeah. Um, that's done. I have this. I have this. Right, you might need to mute yourself when you're not talking. <laughs> yeah, that might be a thing today. This will I forget. Oh. So many breaking stuff? growing you know stuff. No, he has a toy that's like a bunch of cups that he just ah. Uh, I used to have those, but mm -hmm. I would chew them. Yeah, because you had so many teeth. I did. Mm -hmm. You gotta file them down. <laughs> True. I got new what? dice because I fired all of my dice. Oh yeah. Melted them and yeah, like you see, you melted them into. Oh, stuff. I have to send Pat those dice that you wanted. Oh, these are purple. You see them? You see them? You probably can't. They nice, are purple. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Dark, dark purple. Hello, I'm back. I had to change my shirt. Okay. Oh, was it? it, look, it looks really good on you. The new one. I love it. Thank you. It thank great. you. Thank you, everyone. Um, is it a perverted shirt, or did you spill something on it? What happened? No, I wore it for three days, so... Oh, I had... I nice. do not remember if I wore it on this stream, but I definitely had my Sorry About Your Hole shirt on when I was on camera once, and I was like, oops. I just was out in my backyard yelling about holes, and then I had to come inside because I was embarrassed with myself. I People really seem to like that movie. Holes is a good movie. It holds up. Does I was, it? I haven't I seen it in so. a really long time. It's about we, hole. We... we we did like a weird thing for my podcast about holes, and then I watched it, and it was still pretty good. Would watch um, again. The little kid with the big ears has grown mm -hmm. up into a very tall man with massive ears. Nice. I think he's mixed too, so we stand a mixed king. He mm -hmm. might be an MFTs though, so I don't know. He might not be good. Who knows? Hey, I Twitch, how are you today? It's so good to see you. Did everyone tweet? Yeah, yes. you know it. Pat, where's your tweet so I can retweet? I you? did it. And then you can I get a you can get a notification day. from Twitter saying that somebody that has no followers a goddamn influencer. You. <laughs> Do you want to be again? Huh? I think it's funny when you do the thing and it says like someone with a bunch of followers just retweeted you. Do you want to mute this ASAP? Mm-hmm. Yes. Like no, bitch, with the cloud. Attack? Let's go. Are you okay? <laughs> I hope everyone's um well rested. I hope. All the tuck pointing going on at your home is fine. Um, I know I personally had a lot of tuck pointing going on at my house, so I'm sleepy. Um, and it's a billion degrees outside, <clears throat> so I feel bad for them because we've entered the hot the hot months of St. Louis, and. <sighs> No turning back. Maybe True. we might have. We, I think next week's supposed to be in the 70s, which is nice. But it's hot. Uh, I like it. We're talking about because um, Nico was talking about moving from Missouri to Ohio, and several mm -hmm. of us were talking about how cut, well, like dancing around the, the the conversation, you know, of three tweets and and MG chat was like how high Ohio is on the geekly list of good states. Which it's nowhere else on any good state list, including Ohio's <laughs> Ohio's favorite states, um, and then also sure. the vibe, the millennial vibe when you visit a new city. And you're like I could live here, I like this. Oh yeah, I could I could live here. Which I've done to, like every time I've been to Columbus. It's like I could live here. Hell yeah, this place is cool. 
But now yeah. I'm like, I don't know if all of Ohio is better than all of Missouri because bad Missouri gets quite bad. But also the bad part of every one of our beautiful states, including like Massachusetts and shit, is quite bad. Yeah. But I like St. <laughs> Louis more than Columbus as of right now. Bad Ohio, Ohio is, very, is very bad. Uh, Ohio has a uh, crud bomb, so it's like that's the best state. Has what? Crud bombs. Crud, crud bombs. It's, what? It, my, uh, you sh- it's it's music. You sh- okay. It, and it's weird, really weird and bad. But Toledo's not weird fun. and interesting. Bad. Interesting. I don't know if Missouri has a second good city. Like I don't know how good Kansas City is or any of those other. There's like I guess decent college towns, which might be Kansas City. I don't really know, but I'm the St. Louis stan because they have good food. And all that other stuff, but um, do don't come to Florida. Florida's all bad. <laughs> Great to visit, but uh, yeah, hundred percent bad. It's not good to be here. Mm-hmm. You can't say gay, otherwise you get arrested. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missouri is fun. Uh, I'm in. Yeah, it could get worse, but also same with Ohio, actually. Because remember when we're, people were like, "Are you guys still?" That you can't say in the law. Yeah, it's like a whole bunch of shit. It's like you can't say gay. You can't you say can't pronouns. Say, you can't period. say pronouns. You can't, you can't have blue hair. You can't have you pronouns can't have in your hair. bio. Things like that. Uh, immigrate to Canada. I would like to. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed to right now. I if I had more money, of the government. I would just go to New Zealand. Ooh, I would but... the Take me with you. Okay. I would go to New Zealand. Yeah. But I do like the cold. I like the snow. I don't. I'm glad I don't live in Boston anymore because that was a bit much. But, uh, oh, we could go to Alaska because there's that one time of year where because like it's like night for like 12 months. Or Hell whatever. yeah! All right, that's the well, shit I'm about. compound in Alaska. They made a movie about it, a documentary <laughs> starring Josh Hartnett. Yeah, um, well, we gotta do the, uh, oh, go ahead. no, you go ahead. <laughs> I said, we gotta do the uh, uh, the LA thing, but in a state where it's worth doing, where you have you just get all of weekly to pitch together to buy one giant house. Mm-hmm. And, like, in any other state, it would be, like, you would own the state, basically. Right, right. You know? If we do that in South Dakota, then we would own South Dakota. We would just become the Senate. Because, like, three people live there. It's true. Yeah, we would be, like, that cult that moved to, like, Wyoming or wherever it was. I forget. Yeah. Yeah, we just let's just do that. Well, then we, too, would start poisoning people with, like, platypuses or whatever they did. Because yeah. um, that's the road. I'm sorry. It just happens. That's it just what, happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... But speaking of Alaska and being night all the time, uh, this is a, a, a adventure stream based off uh, sometimes loosely, sometimes I don't, I don't even know, of Rhyme the Frost Maiden. I think that was um, pretty obvious already, Tim. It's explicit. No, by no. I mean, but... based on what you, we've already talked about. Mm-hmm. That was a really That's good segue. Doing. That really was, yeah. yeah I thought so. Um... The uh, our heroes, the mitochondria. Uh, w- w- what's up? What did you guys do last time? What's up? Uh, <laughs> I remember flirting with the red tiefling guy because I do not remember his name. We were in Bryn Chander with Tash's dad. Oh, yeah, the trash he tiefling? Left. Or is it a different tiefling? I, up. No, it was the, the it was like the thuggy teeth. He was like like the right hand man of the other dickhead from Targos. Yeah, the trash tiefling. No, yeah, not him. <laughs> oh, avarice. It was, it was the one that we took a bath with. That's the one we were hanging. Oh, with. Mm. oh, that one guy. The cult I will man. never remember his. You, Tim is. I know. I'm sorry. I Tim, canonically said cannot his name remember names. so many fucking times. I'm a um, method actress. I cannot remember names. Otherwise, I'll break character. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We talked to, um, this is the big crux thing. Uh, what's her name? The the person who gave us the quest for oh, the, the orb girl with yeah. no pockets. And, and she was really impressed with all the crazy shenanigans we had gotten into and uh, was surprised that we were still alive when we described all the shenanigans we'd gotten into. Yeah, we were and, like, hey, can, you, can you give us some information? And she's like, here's information. Like, we knew that. Oh, we knew that too. I see the chat, yeah, Josh. It's Kadroth. Um, <laughs> but yeah. uh, and then we were trying to decide what was more pressing: do we deal with the Durgar situation head on, or do we deal with the Oral situation head on? And True. I do not remember if we made a decision. 
I don't think we did. Well, because we have a meeting. There's like a meeting where everyone's going to be at. I think it's safe to assume if you don't know if we made a decision, we probably didn't. Mm hmm. Wasn't there. Are we, we need to find the orb too, still? Because there's someone in the orb? Question mark? We do, but we have no idea where it is. We just know it's in the middle of like nowhere. It's there was like no signal. By the snow, Pat. Oh, yeah. And then we still have um, the shield. Per the maiden thing, a shield armor thing. Shield maiden, yes. <laughs> yes, this is so all true. Many quests. This is all mostly true. Um, uh, Velian, feel. feel like go ahead. There's probably like a good path to do where we could have like done a bunch of these side quests before going into the main quest, but I feel like we're in the middle right now mm. and we can go like. We fucked up, is what I'm saying. I mean that's the that's the the problem and the joy of a quote unquote sandbox game, um, and the joy of quote unquote murdering every NPC that um, helps your your beautiful DM not railroad you. <laughs> uh, yeah, hypothetical. Fault is that? No, I'm kidding. You guys are fine. Yeah, I love you. In you have anything defense, wrong. Everything you've done has made it more fun for me. Don't understand Durgar, so it wouldn't have mattered. That's true. <laughs> that is a fair point. Well, it's the next day. The meeting, explicitly, uh, what's happening next on y'all's docket is that the various speakers or head people from the towns of Ten Towns are going to meet at Bran Shander in the early evening and um, basically talk about what to do based off the ins information that you've given, the information that other folks have given um and uh, this is sort of i guess your ability to sway 10 towns over the next steps um you've you've heard some information corroborated you've heard some information guessed at uh, uh i know that you you have information from some unreliable narrators uh, uh who's to say uh who they are things like that it's it's you know um, it's, you know, it's, 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 uh, your world. They're just living in it, literally. Um, so yeah, uh, as you are hanging out, uh, prior to the, um, uh, uh, council session, which you have been invited to, um, cause you need to give your piece as probably the foremost venturing party in all of 10 towns right now, especially cause some of the other ones have, are, are dead. A lot of them have like there's uh, uh, stories of some of them just getting killed. Um, it's dangerous out there, as you've seen and attested to. Um, someone comes up to you. Uh, uh, it's a so, uh, it's a, a human woman with dark hair um, and it's partially graying and uh, not very ostentatious, I guess you'd say. Uh, clothes and she says, um, "Hey, uh, y'all are the." Uh, Mitochondria? Yes. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi. Hello. My name is uh, Alevesa Utapur. I am um, I'm from Goodmead, and um, th the council is going to vote on who the next speaker of Goodmead should be. And uh, I, we haven't met, but everyone says you 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 have a lot of sway around here in that you're good folks so i was wondering if we could chat and maybe put a good word in for me well yeah we can have a chat we can we can just ch chit chat and talk What's oh up? wonderful wonderful uh, uh come, come come sit I'll, I'll i'll bring tea and, and things like that and she leads you to a table at the tavern um and and uh flags down um a server and there's like nice tea set in front of all of you and she uh, uh pays and and says thank you so much and then turns to y'all and uh, so basically our previous speaker died and uh, we've been bickering back and forth between, well, who should uh, lead. Um, I don't necessarily want to be the speaker, but I most certainly don't want uh, a certain individual named Shandar Froth to be the speaker. I don't trust him. Uh, he seems uh, 
too in lean with, uh, with that Nerth fellow from from uh, uh, Targos. And uh, good that guy's an, That bloke's an asshole. I'm with I, you. I agree. And, and you know, um, I don't necessarily want to say, hey, uh, he, uh, Froth is bad and he likes the guy from Targos, so vote for me. But I kind of feel like that's it's, it's my duty to make sure he's not He's not the leader. Okay. So this is like sure. a like a bit of a smear campaign then. Uh, well, like yeah. make yeah. a spear campaign, and like just remove froth from the equation. Oh my no! Don't do that. Don't uh, okay. Uh, don't do that. I mean, we'd be really good at that. That would be like we could guarantee success pretty much. Ah, uh, but yikes. she was she just went about saying that we're good people and people listen to us. <laughs> Right. Maybe that shouldn't be the first response. Okay. So I well, like where your head's at normally. I mean, normally. We'll call that Plan B. Well, Plan D, maybe. Okay. So we're just gonna think of three other plans first, then. <laughs> wow. Right. You know, uh, that's cool. Uh, uh, I can't really pay you nothing because. That doesn't seem right, and I don't have that much money. But uh, uh, heck, uh, if there's anything you could do, that that would that that would be uh, uh, quite swell of you. We yeah, could make okay. like a banner or something. Like, ooh, that, that guy sucks. Froth sucks. Well, I mean, I got no pro. So you said this person sucks. And they are friends with another person who sucks. That it would be bad for your town if they were made speaker. Yeah. Th yeah, that's what's. I don't. I don't pay attention to the the local politics too much. But that's what some of my friends have said. They suggested that I run, but anyone really who runs against Froth could probably um, win. If it, they win, be you know. I don't know. Any of y'all could run too. I don't know. I'm definitely not cut out for politics. I don't want any vetting in, in the me past would not go over well. Um, <laughs> Let's find all your nudes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm game. Is it? I'm really good at pissing people off, and I can talk shit to him, so you don't have to. And you can look squeaky clean. Well, I, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. I'm a little uncomfortable backing a candidate whose platform I'm unfamiliar with. I mean, to be honest. <laughs> that's fair. The fact that they don't want the job, right? It's that whole thing, right? Anyone who actually wants a position of power is not someone you would actually want in a position of power. So, like, reluctant leader. We've seen it again and again, mate. You know, it's Listen, a stereotype. I don't want to be speaker. Do you want me as the speaker? <laughs> I yes. mean, you'd be better. I could, I could say it's, you'd be better than F. And if this person's like a nerf light, you'd be probably better than them. As long right, as you didn't I... institute any like mandatory cannibalism, you'd be doing all right. Oh gosh. I said he wouldn't do that. I just want to be clear. That, the fact that it even need to be said is kind of weird. Bitch, that I... <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, but... Tim, I want to. Does this person have any of the black swords paraphernalia on their person? Nope. Thank God. Uh. Right. Okay. What What's lot the timeline here? Like, how 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 pressing? When's the election? Well, the uh, the council's gonna uh, uh, vote on it. Oh, this meeting we're all about to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is where they go. Oh, and you want us to maybe say something in your behalf at this? I thought it was just like a we're gonna go to good meet with you and like do like, you know, some campaigning door to door and well, whatnot. Right now, mm. good meet we're more or less tied, so. Okay. Well, so we just have to go in there and be like, gosh, that one person is so nice. We should. It was a, uh, was it Olivia? Oh, uh, Olivia. Olivia. Yeah, that's close enough. Right. I mean, if we're going to, you know, champion you and talk about how great you are, we should probably make sure we got your name right. Yeah, Olivesa, yeah. It's a t right. uh, Olivesa. Yeah, that's how I say Olivesa. it. Olivesa. It's great. And Utapur. Froth, Froth is a real fucking knob. Yeah. Well, He's a bully. How do you, how do you feel about uh, making your monthly sacrifices? 
Uh, What's your stance on that? We don't love it, uh, but you know, we we uh, we go uh, one night a month without any heat in the town, just like um, any other of the small towns. Well, but you don't do like a murder. No. No. Oh, I like you. Okay. Not, not yet. No. That's no. a platform I can get behind. Not ever. <laughs> right? Not ever. We'll deal yeah. with it. Don't worry. We're going to sort it out. We're going to have we're gonna have words with this oral at some point. Oh, Don't thank worry. you. That'd be great. Do you have pins? We can wear pins. I don't... Yeah. I don't... I don't... I didn't come Do prepared for that. you have cookies? We can hand them out. Uh, I don't have... I didn't... Gosh, you guys are so much I better at this than me. I, 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 don't, I don't have that either. I'm so, Should I get cookies? Or would that be... Yes. All right, I'll do that. Okay. She takes out a little notebook and writes down get cookies. Like, all right, well, I'll, I guess I'll see y'all at the at the meeting and I'll hand out cookies and uh, that'll be great. Okay. All right. When is, when is the meeting? Like, how A couple, far handful out? of hours. Well, now that my side's really handful or like a Now we can have cookies again. <laughs> yeah, I'm really I'm running low on my stock of them. So. <laughs> Shake it all out. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, she gets up and leaves. Is there anything you want to do before the council meeting? What town are we in? Brinchander. Brinchander. We got, we got paid. The big main one. You mm -hmm. got paid. You met with Velianne. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm good. Uh, I don't. I'm good. Yeah, fast. No, uh, and and fast you know, um, the only other things like you, every town speaker is in town. So if there's anything you want to talk, anyone you want to talk to, pre meeting, you know, any any information you want to give them. Every town speaker. Does this include the one from that's like hidden away in the cult castle? Yep. Well, well, <laughs> no. oh, thank you. Uh, everyone that, that is <laughs> allowed to speak for the uh, the towns are here. You have, yeah, like you've already talked to Kadroth, and yeah. you haven't seen the town speaker of Bremen either because he's very old. Um, but you've seen other people. Some you recognize, some you do not. Like your hit friend Nimsy Huddle from Lonelywood just gave you kind of a cold stare and a sad smile. Trovis came over and and had you buy him an ale. Um, Tim, talk to me. I think I'm recalling very slowly. I'm recalling um, that I guess they were going to make a delivery of herbalism kits. Oh yeah. What, yep, 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 yep. Did those come? Yeah. How many? Yeah, that, those probably came last night. Uh, okay. four. Four so if you want to make some to make a potion while we're waiting. Yeah, you've probably had time to make at least two or three. Oh, okay. I think you already gave me the kits. Okay, good, 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 good. Was so was I, I anywhere have... near close to what? It's well, it says I have five. There you go. Which makes sense because I think I had one left over. Yeah, in the four. That sounds about right. So yeah, you can go ahead and um try, try, try again. Okay. What do I roll for this again? Just I wrote this down. I know all I know is the DC, <laughs> which is twelve. Do, 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 do. Thank you for all the kind words in chat. By the way, everyone, y'all are whatever. the best. I, I was like, mm -hmm. y'all are real motherfuckers, but I was like, I rolled ten. a sixteen. <laughs> okay, success. And you said one or two? Uh, let's say three. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> 17. Mm -hmm. And 14. Being Perfect. Generous with health potions means we're going to die. <laughs> Other baby health potions, so. Mm -hmm. And you guys are level 9, so whatever. Just kidding. <laughs> what level are you again? <laughs> 5. Nine. Five. You said. Um, 17. When did you level up last? Like we haven't leveled up in, ago. like, I think 17 episodes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like um, six months ago. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So I put three health potions on the table. Who wants them? Uh, I think I have one. I have a, do I have one? I will take one if I don't. Mm -hmm. I think you everyone should, should have You should have... One. Oh, I do have one. You should have two. 
probably. <laughs> Yeah. I will Try take it. another one. Yes. You have another one. <laughs> Give Nettle a, a necklace one. of healing potion <laughs> that she's able potion. to like. Mm -hmm. A beer like hat. Like one of those bandoliers, <laughs> but it's mm -hmm. just healing potions. Sick. Uh, sorry, Brett, what were you saying? Oh, no, I was just going to say, uh, I, you know, usually I don't, I'm not the one getting knocked out. That was weird last time when I almost died. Uh, but I can I can take one. Can yes, you should take I've one. I've before. Okay. Well, be sure to delete it out of your character sheet or don't add it, Josh, and then add it to yours, because I won't remember. Yeah, mm. I'm about to add one health potion to me. Uh-oh, five subs, five flex. Thank you so much, Spooky no. Monster, for the gifted subs. I feel rusty. Okay. Uh. Mamma mia. Oh, yeah, there's, no, there's not going to be an episode next week, because... Several of us are out of town. How many do I owe? Was it five? Five. Five, oh, five yeah. Glutes, glutes, glutes. Listen. Glutes. Oh, okay. I'm out of town today, and I feel like y'all ain't trying hard enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, that's fair. That's fair. That's a, that's a good note. That's a good note. Um, I mean, what can you do? So, anything else anyone wants to do pre-meeting? That's not me saying you're not you're you're missing anything. Just want to make sure. Anytime I jump forward in time, I like to I like to check. Okay, five times. I have corrected the items, Tim. Did my camera black out for everyone? No, I'm I blacked out out, out of my one mimosa. Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh snap! It's uh, yeah, my wife's I birthday. Want more so. I want more mimosa. I more like, like more. Mimosa. I love mimosas. I mimosas was thinking of like good. a morning D and D show. Like, what's a D and D word that starts with B? So like brunch and beholder. Something. Brunch and Beholders. Brunch and Brunch and ah, that's a good way to get a cease and desist. They don't like Is, aren't there like Bodax or something like that? Oh yeah, you can't Brunch say Beholder. And the D &D can't yeah. be. Beholder is wizards. That's why every yeah. other like thing is like Gazer and shit like that. Yeah. Eye stalk horror. Um Barbarian. <laughs> you know, that's not yeah. the, the Barbarian, Barbarian Brunch. Mm -hmm. Barbarian Brunch. Anyway, um sorry. I'm no, I'm I'm like let's get to this meeting and have okay. a plan action. Let's get some action going. Mm -hmm. but let's go. Is, yeah, I'm I, I'm good. I did my I did my due diligence of getting what? everybody a potion, so nobody can say I'm not a good healer. <laughs> Let me close my Final Fantasy grab 14 the tabs. Nettle <laughs> grabbed one. Yeah, you grabbed the other two. Mittens took one. Nettle took one. I took one. Okay. Bards and brunch. And then... That's good. Yeah. Barbs, yeah. Bar barbs, bards, and brunch. I like that. That's 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 good. Uh, a brew like... holder. I'm sure that's been uh, our our friend Jason um, of Drinking Quest. I guarantee is is it has to be. Yeah. It has to be uh, in in that game. I'll ask mm -hmm. Galen. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, don't trust those shape fifter. This isn't water deep dragon heist. <laughs> LOL. That campaign's fine. Uh, I did not finish it, though. Okay, so you get to the meeting. There are light refreshments, including a uh, stack of cookies um, that are like sugar cookies with a big O on them with a smiley face in the middle. And then she's just like, oh, she yeah. gives you the thumbs up. Uh, and she's standing near them like, yes, I got these, you know, so that we could have some, some light refreshments for y'all. It's let's, let's, uh, have a, a nice little meeting. And, uh, some of the speakers politely take some, uh, uh, your old friend, um, scroll and scroll and scroll and what? Uh, da, 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 da. God damn, there's so many people. I was like talking to my wife about this. I'm like, there's gonna be 16 NPCs in this room. Uh, <laughs> oh, Tim. <laughs> so you guys can take a seat. I got Let's, this. We had that mineral water, Tim. I can't. We, we got to go around to each one of them and have a one minute conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, uh, let's go around the table. Uh, you, you've, you've seen this part of the speaker's, um, chamber, uh, before, but obviously it's been set up and, uh, to house so many people. There's, like, a main big table, and then there's, uh, for, like, the main speakers and things like that, and then there's, uh, seats, uh, around the side for, um, uh, other, uh, uh, notaries and things like that. You guys are, uh, given seats at, on the corner, 
um, on on either actually on either side of uh, Contessa, uh, excuse me, Duvessa, uh, Shane from Brenner Shander. So it goes. There's not going to be an order, but just here's who's all here. We have uh, uh, Contessa. God damn it, Duvessa. Um, um, so thank you everyone for being here. That's a <laughs> quick roll call. Uh, uh, here we have Grintz Barrelbore, who you recognize as the fisherman from Bremen. Uh, like, I'm here, uh, Donald Gruff. I uh, can't quite make it because he's old. So I, some of the fisher folks said that I, uh, I can speak for him. Can't do much voting, but I have uh, Bremen's best interest in mind. Um, and Duvessa says, thank you so much. Uh, I, of course, am Duvessa Shane. Here is, and she kind of looks at her paper, uh, excuse me, is uh, a Speaker Cranach not able to make it? And Kadroth, uh, for some reason, stands up <laughs> and says, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> My name is Kadroth uh, uh, of the Black Swords, and um, do you like, please, we just need a simple here, and uh, why is uh, uh, Cranach not here? Oh, he's taken quite ill. So, uh, I, I am here, and I am able, he has given me his signet ring for any voting he may do, but, ooh, it would be such a perilous journey, and I think we all don't want any harm to come to him, all right? And he gets a big smile, and you just hear someone just go, fucking idiot. Um, you got Trovis, who is, like, <laughs> filling up. <laughs> is Trovis awake? <laughs> He's filling up his, uh. Uh, a flask of, uh, he's pouring a flask into his, like, complimentary, like, uh, tea drink or something like that. Like, oh, what's up? Oh, no, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> there is someone you've never met before. Uh, um, hello, I'm, e uh, Edgar Dermut. Uh, Duvessa basically made me come. I haven't met some of you, um, but, uh. Nice. From Dugas Hole, hello, whatever. And she sits down. She's kind of, kind of mousy. Doesn't really pay much attention. <laughs> plays with her hands a little bit. Um, uh, Duvessa says, "Thank you. We haven't heard from uh, Dugas Hole for some time uh, for these meetings. And uh, as you are the most southern uh, town, we thought it best and uh, um, imperative that you be here. Like whatever." Um, then you you see uh, uh, Speaker Deneth Whalen, which I believe you've. I don't. I can't remember if you've met or if you've only dealt with uh, the person along with them, uh, Captain Im Im Imbra Arlagath um, from East Haven. Um, these, uh, 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 Daneth is the speaker, and uh, he's like, uh, good to be here. We have uh, some frightening news, and I'm glad everyone's able to get here uh, post-haste. And thank you to Duvessa for let letting us... Uh, 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 Encroach on her hospitality. Uh, then we have Olivessa Untapor and Shandor Froth. Uh, Diva says we have the two candidates uh, who are neck and neck of the votes down in Goodmead. Uh, uh, Olivessa and Shandor Froth. Um, they both, uh, I will be the best speaker ever, and I think you know it. And he sits down like, I brought the cookies, but whatever. And she sits down. <laughs> Uh, you see Nimsy Huddle, the halfling from Lonelywood, who has four cookies uh, that she's wrapping up in a napkin. Um, like, oh, sorry, just taking it from my children. Uh, Lonelywood, uh, uh, happy to be here, I guess. Uh, and then you see Speaker Nerth Malxadar. Uh, you know him, you love him of Targoths. Uh, who, Scath is sitting um, at, a, at a chair behind him, looking imposing. Like, speakers, uh, adventurers, aides. Uh, elected, well, soon to be elected. Good to see all of you. I'm, I'm very excited to see what uh, productivity we get into today. And then you see your your half work friend, Oris Matthew, um, step up and he's like, Tourmaline, uh, 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 <laughs> pretty nervous about all this, but let's go. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, they sit down and um, Duvet says, like, now, uh, mitochondria, uh, f feel free to introduce yourselves as well. Hi. I've yo sat, yo yo. What up? I want to say that I've sat down after everyone has taken a cookie, and I've just picked up the plate and brought it over to the seat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're both uh, eating off of that. Yeah. 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 I am extremely sitting next to our good dead eye, um, and I have done the thing where it's like I've almost like I've yawned and put my arm around him. And because I have big, long, lanky arms, I'm uh, ready at a moment's notice to clap that mouth shut. 
Mm. <laughs> That's smart. One arm to clap shut, one arm to pinch slash pull armpit hair. So you'd be like, don't go down that road. Ow. Oh, yeah. I You do not know what I'm prepared to do to stop Deneye from talking. Hell yeah. <laughs> Deneye's like, and I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, just look at Nerf. I'm just pointing my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very nice to put my most hand of you again. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's good? Yes. Uh, uh, thank you again for being here. It's uh, uh, it, it, it's an honor to have you. We also have uh, Valian Harpel uh, of the Arcane Brotherhood, and also a slight adventure in her own right. Like, please, 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 no, no, no. I am just a concerned uh, temporary citizen, a t concerned guest, I guess I would say. And uh, she's like, okay. Uh, first on the, the agenda is uh, the, uh, the, I guess, tiebreaker between Olivessa and uh, uh, frickin' Shandar Throth. Uh, what say ye? And uh, we'll open the floor. You know, uh, I don't really know Shandar very well, but uh, I gotta say, we talked to Olivessa earlier, and she... She seemed really nice and didn't didn't try to bribe us, which is like, I mean, you know. And I I point at uh, uh, Nareth and I'm like, you know, that's that's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. I pointed uh, Frotho. This guy's a dick. I heard him. He's a racist. I heard him say some real nasty shit about. Oh, I never. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah. Uh, deception <laughs> check. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> you better pass that. I forgot these be rules to this game. Somebody oh. assist him, please. For the love of God. He got. He rolled so oh, bad. I, I, ha I can assist technically. The two. I, I'm proficient. That's a two. That. I'm proficient. Let me no, assist. No, there's an assist, assist happening. There's an no! assist. Happening. I'm proficient. All right. Uh, I, um, I guess roll with I'm, advantage. And how do you assist him? That's a valid question. Um. I mean, would t if Tash is echo the sentiment and Tash is like, just yeah, I emanates agree. more trustworthiness? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably do that because I know that you're digging a hole, but I know you're going to get us into trouble. So but, do I roll yeah, again or does no, Tash he roll? Really, he really you, sucks. You He's do. racist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and all of us is like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a all of us is internally. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you better roll well. It'll help you, God. Pat, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> That's an 18. That's an 18. Okay. Huh. Uh, <laughs> Add your modifier, damn it. Or is there one? It's a zero. Okay. Thank why you. would you? Why would you try to deceive anybody? With a zero? What's wrong with you? Pat forgot we're playing a game yeah. with rules. Uh, and all of us says, "Oh, I believe what the might of Conjure means is that uh, uh, Sh uh, uh, Shandar I is uh, very protective of people from Icewind Dale, and uh, anyone who is an outsider uh, it can be a threat sometimes." Like Shandar's like, "Well." Who hasn't said that from time to time? Uh, I'm just saying, we gotta protect our own. There's nothing wrong with that, is that right? Okay, but did you see how well Olivessa just handled that entire situation? Mm. They're mm. so responsible. Mm. Yeah, bra, 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 bra. yeah, did I? I said something and no one is hitting each other. Like, it's amazing. Did I open his mouth and no one's died? Uh, Grinsk and Nimsy like that's a big deal. Um, yeah, that's a. <laughs> hey, Nimsy, how's our real estate Eldens doing? I have to clap. I'm like clapping my feet. <laughs> Please do. On your hand on your face. I ask that the might of Conjura be removed for the remainder. <laughs> <laughs> I ask all of you to take your headphones off as I just talk. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, they can be a bit blunt, but they have the best intentions in mind. Uh, I would say. Um, uh, Nareth is like, well, Olivessa, you, you seem trained, and thank you so much for the cookies. That was unexpected. But uh, the uh, 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 good mead relies on the, the fellow loggers like Shandar, so I believe the, um, the rights and the desires of the local business should be heard first, which is what Shandar represents. And I think we all agree that we need materials now more than ever. And Olivessa says, well, uh, that's true, but I'm retired from 
from all of that type of stuff. So I actually have free time to help out, and you won't be losing a, a logger in the mix. And Shand Shandar says, "Fuck you! That's not true." It's, well, I guess it is true, but that's inappropriate. That's not the way a speaker should act. You should have more decorum and tact. I, I got passion. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Is Dorks's hand still over that eye's mouth? <laughs> no, it was. It's like right at like your. It's, it's like gently draped like right at your. I'm gonna give you a chance. Collarbones. I'm giving you a chance. Yeah. So I can just like quickly slap it up if I. Need to. Yeah. All right. All right. If there's nothing else to discuss, we can vote. Okay. All right. I'm, then I, I that is for, way, I like, way. Do we get? Do we get you vote? You guys do not get to vote. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I still say it. I'm just like I. I vote for the her. Oh, point. please don't. Okay. Uh, strike from the record that uh, uh, our Forbog ally uh, voted. Someone says okay. Um, I can't and, wait because they know we're lit over here. Yeah, you got to <laughs> point at my girl. <laughs> uh, you see some of them kind of like whisper to each other and they all hand in little scraps of paper and do vest accounts and it goes, well, by uh, a narrow margin of um, four, four, three against and uh, a handful of abstains, uh, Olivesa, you have been nominated as uh, the speaker elect, congratulations. Like, oh god, oh, I stand up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Shandar, <laughs> as a valued member of Dugan's Hold and uh, Ten Towns, you are, of course, um, uh, welcome to stay. And uh, we would love to hear your insights on what is being discussed here. But Olivesa will be lending any votes that need to be held. Like, oh, oh fuck. Then, um, like, all right, now to the next bit of dark business and why all of us are here. <sighs> the uh, 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 Captain Imdra, if you will. Captain Imdra, the half-elf uh, guard captain from uh, East Haven stands up. And she has, like, obviously healing wounds around her eyes um, and, like, a scar near her, like, a chin that has a bandage over it. She, goes, <clears throat> she pulls out a piece of paper, puts some glasses on. Invisible enemies walk among us. We have seen their boot prints in the snow. And now we know what they are. Duragar. These malevolent dwarves of the Underdark have infiltrated ten towns in search of a rare crystal known as Chardalin. Big glug of water. <laughs> With it, we believe they're constructing some sort of weapon that they will use to invade Tin Towns if nothing is done to stop them. Obvious eye contact with many members. <clears throat> Thumbs up. <laughs> Our militia captured one of the Durgar and forced it to divulge to the location of their mountain stronghold. Oh no. Susie left. <laughs> Susie said, fuck this shit. <laughs> uh, the halfling has stormed out of the room. <laughs> That divulge the location of their mountain stronghold. Therein, you will find a Durgar warlord named Zardarok Sun Blight. He aims to conquer Icewind Dale and destroy us all. And, for the good of Ten Towns, we must band together to defend all of Ten Towns. And she kind of looks up in obvious sweat. Excellent speech, no notes. Uh, thumbs up. And she gives you a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. And, and, and sits down and uh, Duvessa says, thank you so much, Imdra. Um, I guess the floor is open to discuss uh, uh, the, what should be done and uh, the next steps. Uh, I would like to hear from the mitochondria next as, well. Let's go full fucking rutabaga on the asses. Uh, one sec, one sec. Uh, can I, uh, <laughs> Tim, I'm going to use my detect magic and just scan the room in looking for anybody casting invisibility. Okay, yeah, you don't see anything. Sick. Okay, go ahead. I was saying, we need to go full fuck it, root Bega. You can't say the word. <laughs> yeah. Tash, you guys jump nobody. on the table. <laughs> Tash, sit down. <laughs> it's all the way. I know what I said. Tash. It's okay, the warrior Context. stormed up. Right. <laughs> Context. 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 Right. What it means is, it's a code word for like... Than I statement. 
We should murder all of the dairy guys. What you he said. Definitely always tell people what the code word is. For just just tell people right. what our secret code word is. Definitely say right. that out and loud. What Mitten said. We these are these are we're we're doing good murders on them because they is every man, woman, bad. and child. Okay, what well, now? Okay, <laughs> Mitts, maybe okay. um. You what? Can you put your other arm around? Why doesn't he get his mouth shut when he says "bonkers shite" like that? But this is a new trend <laughs> with our hunter. Right. It's very um, specific. It's fine. Listen, don't worry about it. We should mount an offensive. We should. We could try to see if we could pull them out of a stronghold. Go up to it and be like, "Hey, fuck you, wankers!" and see what they do. And then if that don't work, we can infiltrate. I have a question. Yes. Yes, Panchi. How good are the military forces uh, starting from the cities closest to the stronghold up? Um, speaker. Um, uh, didn't write it down. Uh, speaker Edgar Dermot says. Um, well, currently, right now, we can probably um, muster, I don't know, uh, 12 troops. Oh, shit, with that, it's the whole fucking town. game over. We got mm -hmm. it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no problem. And, the, of oh, course, uh, the captain of our guard, so that's probably 13. Hmm. So, let me That sounds you. quite bad. Well, I mean, uh, we don't. For everyone. We don't need. We're we're only a town of fifty people, so I kind of think the percentage I mean, is pretty good. Yeah, to be fair, solid. I mean, like it's not bad for like like it's cool that you've done this, but it's bad in terms of like being the first line of defense. Yeah, I mean, I guess to be fair, like if they add like big beefy militant arms, they wouldn't necessarily need us now, would they? Well, okay. So the reason I ask is because we can deal with <clears throat> a uh, vanguard to the stronghold, but <clears throat> I think to protect the towns, we probably should yeah, have like, backup. Have a drink. Yeah, <laughs> we should probably have backup for the the towns there, so that just, like if we get there and they're already like sending troops down or something, they have like adequate protection or something. So you're but, saying uh, send troops to Dugan's <clears throat> Hole? It's not very defensible. Uh, the, the the people are more what I'm worried about. Well, if uh, in times past we've kind of scampered back to either East Haven or Bryn Shander. Yeah, I mean, so if you need enough that. people to secure their secure retreat or whatever, but uh, just some kind of like a, a backup force to help you guys out. Okay. And uh, Duvessa says, uh, well, that the, uh, the talk of strategy is definitely important, and that will uh, matter based off uh, what we think must be done. Uh, and then Nerth stands up, if I may. Firstly, I think we should all, uh, 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 we of the fine city of Targos, would like to thank the might of Condria for all their service to Ten Towns. And he claps a little bit. Like, please, please, please. Uh, true heroes, true heroes. Despite their occasional vigilantism and poor judgment, I think I speak for everyone when I say all of us owe a huge debt of gra gratitude. And he smiles and, and, and... However, we do not really know anything about the Durgar's plans, their goals. This Zadarok may simply be trying to protect his people who, no doubt, are also suffering from this blasted cold. Why would we waste now, precious resources attacking a threat which we cannot define? We're a precious Maybe. resource to you. Well, oh, if you're talking about thanks, sending Neff. troops to Dugan's Hole, when we could be uh, defending our own towns, or, heck, hiring a caravan to go uh, south to bring back vital supplies. Why should we do what you push forward when... There's a, a, a money to be spent to keep our people alive from the day to day. He 
You know, I will I will acknowledge openly uh, a certain uh, personal bias against Speaker Neff there. <laughs> uh, but uh, with that in mind, uh, let's do nothing sounds like a terrible fucking plan. Yeah. And they're not, like, defensive. They're actively engaging in hostile, aggressive activities. I mean, just over at East Haven, uh, and, uh, uh, point over at uh, Dennis, they brought, uh, over at East Haven, they took the whole fucking town hall hostage. Yes. And we had to go in and, and kill them all. Um, that's, that's, that's true. Yeah. And, and, kind so of like, this- and yes, we routed some of the hidden uh, uh, Duragar in the, in the East Haven Ferry. So uh, th- the threat is there. Yeah. And then Nair says, strong- but so it, you, you cleared out the threat and we don't see much evidence of, um, of, any, of further Duragar issues. Uh, okay. Trovis himself said that it's you cleared out a fortress. <laughs> right, because they can turn invisible. That's why you don't see it, mate. Yeah, anyway, it's cool. Fun. You just do targos, and if when they come <clears throat> to fuck you up, don't give us a call. That's all. Okay, the rest of us who got our heads not up our arses. I have to go let's... answer the door. You guys talk amongst yourselves, and then they tell <laughs> yeah. me. What Free RP! Free RP! Yeah. Well, let's What's talk that? About hot dogs. What's that? You got <laughs> you got five Vorpal swords you're going to give us? Oh, wow. Oh, you, you shouldn't short? have. That's, That's so, so nice. That's so generous. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're Fine. gonna give us five thousand. I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna build a special crossbow. Shoot some. Five thousand gold a piece. Wow. Yeah. Every yeah. Dragar yeah. Dragar for wow. every tooth we bring back. Wow. Wow. That's so, that. generous. That's so generous. So generous. Oh, okay, let me just go on over to D and D Beyond and find out what are the most powerful magic items in the catalog. Give me a oh. sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. give. <laughs> let's give. Uh, 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 <laughs> let's give Nettle the Book of Vile Darkness. Let's Perfect. give Mittens. The Book of Exalted Deeds. Let's get uh, what kind of artifacts we got here. Oh, the Axe of Dwarvish Lords. You shouldn't have. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Thank you. <laughs> the Mace of Black Crown. Oh, I love it. Hey, Tash, use that. What is Mask this of the dra- The Mask of the Dragon Queen. I don't know. Oh, you should try hitting fit. stuff with it. Okay. Oh, yeah. you're giving us a whole dragon? Yay. Yeah. Wow. Listen. Plus a sword, but... You've got, uh, you've listen, got a, a mind control mask? Tia, Matt. Give me one of those. I'll we can a white dragon mask. <laughs> they, got, they got any of those in the seat? White dragon mask under my chair? Mm-hmm. What's... <laughs> you get a white dragon mask. You, you get one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the white dragon mask makes you look immune to ice damage. Oh, a real wand of Orcus this time. Great. We've got this forgery. Oh, I forgot we have that. Oh, yeah. It's not, no, it doesn't please. do anything. Yeah, but we have it, and it's believable. Well, we it trade. That's right. We go up, like, and wave it at the stronghold, like, uh, what's his name? Zorda Rock. Like, hey, fucker, I'm gonna orchestrate your fucking stronghold. You don't come out here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just waiting right. for it. No, nah, so let's real. Why we got the time? Uh, what are we gonna ask for though? Like for real? Like, are we gonna ask for anything for them, or just tell them you guys bad? No, we probably actually. shouldn't ask for anything for them. Oh, Tim's back. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm back. What'd you guys say? Did oh. you say anything mean? We all uh, got. Uh, uh, Nair had we a all got artifact level okay. items from them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a change of leveled heart. up two times. We leveled up yep. twice. Nair gave me a white dragon mask. Gave okay. uh, Nettle the book of vile darkness. Okay. Gave Tash the book of exalted deeds. Okay. Um. It gave Pat the mayonnaise jar. Okay. And Pat gave, specifically. Yeah. Specifically really Pat. Jar. Um, <laughs> and Mittens got, uh, uh, what was it? Mittens, what did you get? The, the deed thing? No, I mean, mm-hmm. we gave it to Tash instead. You get the, the other one. You get the, the, the sword one. of, uh, Zariel. There's Mastix, the whip of Eberos, Erebos. Ooh. There you go. So that's what but, we, that's okay. what Nerith gave all of us. Okay. Yes. And then we leveled up twice. Okay. And he loves us now. And he says Targos is going to send all the troops for free. Okay. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he's going to lead the charge. Okay. To protect everybody. Okay. Mm-hmm. As you guys get done daydreaming about that, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you all come to you like, oh, we're all just like, it <laughs> <laughs> comes back just time. They're like, so anyway, we agree to do nothing. Like, <laughs> what the together? fuck? We're not saying do nothing. We're saying don't risk going out into the wastes and for I, more deaths. No one is risking going out into the wastes for more wastes for more deaths. If you want to send troops to attack 
Um, no, that's not what I said. No, we want you to take your troops and fortify some specific choke points, right? Where they would come in case they circle around behind us. Like, we, we can handle it. The five of us, we're going to go fuck them up. We got it, right? We're fucking heroes. We had, we're going to take the fight to them just in case, though, you be ready in case they have other operations. Oh, and where should... So we get to choose one of our cities to not be destroyed is what you're saying? No, and, I, mean, I mean, they pick the ones that are closest because, you know, the fucking closest right. to it. Well... Uh, furthermore, I think that the uh, the group, uh, and I point to the red tiefling guy, uh, Kadroth. This, yeah, uh, he has a, a force that would yeah, the black be swords, more mate. Bring to them. Us. They should They'll come with us. To help us specifically. But yeah, the, your crew, you could just kind of not help, I guess. Except, don't bring that one kid. He fucking sucks. Keep him behind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the Black Swords will be happy to aid um, in whatever we can for a nominal mercenary fee, and as well as uh, uh, maintaining a, a contingent to help defend uh, Care uh, Dinaval, of course. And Merith is like, "Well, Easy. thank you, mitochondria, of course, but why are we listening to them for a strategy? They're just, uh, they're adventurers. They." I, I agree. If you want to go um, a attack this castle as a small elite unit, I say, and he looks at all the speakers, we let them and encourage them. Uh, and if you make it back, uh, you will be a, a hero ten times over. But to uh, uh, Dugan's hold is far too uh, uh, indefensible. Uh, good mead as well. Uh, and if we go to East Haven. What about Bryn Shander and what about Targos? It just feels like we're going. They'll, they'll see that and it'll attack someone else. Is this Nerith talking? Yes. You just said Targos was in any danger because there's no Durga problem there. So what are you right. worried about then, mate? Which that, is it, bruv? I am saying that I don't want to li leave my troops from Targos, which we need to help oh. protect us is it, they're too in busy case of anything. The zombies. Right, Zombies, right. goblins, you name it. Unruly mobs, dude, wanting food. Okay. Uh, Adventurers using artifacts they don't understand and getting attacked by a demigod. That sounds irresponsible. They do that? <laughs> yeah. Well, we did that. Mm. Like, um, <laughs> like, all right, we are, we're hearing a lot of, of uh, healthy debate here and there, but... Uh, I, I feel like we need to maybe, I don't know, have a plan of action and possibly a, some more proof of exactly what is happening. So what do we know about the Duragar threat? Uh, yet again, the mitochondria, you've had the most interactions with them. Of course, the Black Swords attacked and found some information as well as uh, yeah. the folks of East Haven, uh, Duvesa says. Uh, I mean, that last encounter was weird because they had a, a statue and some uh, increased arms. Uh, the, you know, the, the attack seemed to be more dangerous as time moves on. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they were escalating. Yeah. Like, and it was the first group that we encountered, we just, we just rolled through them. Like, it was like nothing. They were very yeah. easy to kill. Uh, but then last time it was like, oh, like I got knocked out. And like uh, that was a danger, and then, uh, you know they were doing some kind of brain stuff. It was weird. And the first stronghold up north, there was like there weren't like zombies, you know, like in the the normal undeads you come across. You had Gone Variety, Necromancer type. There was like they've been corrupted by something. Maybe the chart landed. I don't know. I don't know if you all remember that up north in the stronghold. There was like these like there was like they used to be folk people, and they got kind of like zombified. There was oh, the yeah, those are the ones we put in the pit, right? Yeah, and there was, like, the ogre in the cage. But it was different, right? It wasn't like your normal undead. I'm just saying, there's collecting the chartlin. The chartlin uh, can result in some nasty side effects. And they're killing folk to do it. Hmm. Yeah, and if they're collecting it, it's probably for some type of a reason. Well, uh, some of yeah, us... And it's, now, you, we've seen, like, Nerf and his men are fairly ineffective on their own. And I, and I feel like if we just wait for the threat to come to each town one by one, 
that will be no good. We must uh, have a unified front here. Well, uh, I don't know where you're coming from that, but uh, we have one of the strongest uh, defensive forces here, so uh, if you would, uh, we of course... Except the ones who get turned into zombies. Um, we're unsure exactly the cause of that and, uh, or what you're referring to explicitly, but yes, um, just like every town here, we have had, uh, gone through trials and tribulations and lost some of our own and we take their losses deeply concerningly. Okay. Uh, then Imdra from East Haven stands up like, well, the Chardolin they keep taking, um... We are unsure exactly to what extent they're going to uh, use it for, but some have said they could use it for some sort of magical construct, um, maybe making weapons and armor for their troops, um, perhaps some sort of um, uh, just way to put a big hex on us. We're not entirely sure. But the rumors also say that... Uh, 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 they're just been amassing it for quite some time now. And then Velian stands up, if I may. Uh, also, it's v quite uh, likely that uh, um, this Sunblight uh, is doing something along the scale of a dragon with this Chardolin. Uh, uh, the rumors are that he has procured some sort of dragon, oops, a dragon heart, which contains much magical properties. Who knows what it will be done with it, but uh, <laughs> uh, the magics of the Underdark are deep and vast that even I don't understand them completely. Oh my like god. For a, for a dragon? I mean, I guess it's like, if we feel strongly about it, mates, I don't know what, what we, we can just... I don't know what help they can even give us. Except for maybe the black swords. Like a down payment, and then you can... To come with. I I've got maybe an, an obvious question. Uh, so if the if the Duragar are taking the Chardlin and becoming stronger, what are we doing with the Chardlin? Can, why do we have so much? Can we just destroy it? Who's we? I don't know. They keep stealing it from the town. <laughs> why is there so much Chardlin in town? It's uh, it, it was from a um, a wizard uh, who. Uh, kind of uh, ravaged the land quite some time ago, and uh, he he, it's a, a leftover relic. Uh, some of the Chardolin is is cursed, some of it isn't. Um, but uh, the the variety that is cursed is so dangerous. We try not to um, uh, deal with it, but some people do keep little trinkets here and there that were passed down through the years. So that's what we believe like, the Durgar have been stealing. Okay. I mean, we could try to destroy it, or if it can't be destroyed, we could put it all in a bag and give it to Pleasy to take to the bottom of the ocean. Like, we could get, we could disappear. Right. Who? Or like, yeah. or use it as traps. We could set traps with it. It'd be like, come get the Shardolin, the Odorigar. You then could bait them, and that would make it them. easier to pick off while I'd like their little scout invaders yeah. or whatever. How? But like, the, the dragon thing's got me thinking. If they make something that can fly, um, you guys are boned. Right. Is I feel like we just gotta go and just see what the fuck is up. And either we take a moan because we're great and we're epic heroes, or we're like get the fuck out of there and be like, oh, it's really bad, and then you all believe us. But I'm just saying, if anyone's got anything they can do to aid, like I said, or just bring some, the black swords. You could do some good for once and come help us. Oh, we do good as much as possible. And uh, 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 Grinsk from Bremen's like, I'm kind of loath to trust some cult worshippers to, to help us out. I'm sorry to say it. And uh, kind of like, how dare you? We follow a certain creed. Well, where's your speaker? Uh, everyone here knows that uh, uh, Durbel Gurf uh, is quite sick, and people who come to Bremen talk to him all the time, whereas your speaker hasn't been seen for quite some time. Kato says, he comes out and greets his people uh, 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 once a ten day at least. <sighs> this sounds like some bullshit if you ask me. 
I don't know that the pot can call the kettle black with cult stuff. Because the sacrifices are definitely uh, helping keep it cold. Oh, we... <laughs> That is simply not true. Yeah, the oh, sacrifices yeah, I, have been uh, uh, helping, and I don't think we should speak ill of the dead by saying that their lives were wasted. I'm not speaking ill of the dead. <clears throat> I'm speaking ill of uh, someone who's setting up the sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah. No, they yeah, don't bro, do shy. We pretty much I'll... confirmed, like, the sacrifices aren't really, like, a big deal. Yeah. Uh, you know. If anything, they're making it worse because you give them more power to, power to oral to, like, exert dominance over the weather so like you should friends stop we've had this right conversation now. and we've decided that each town may do what they like but it, it fucking it, states right Bullshit. it feels like uh from all of our tests that um those of us who have been using the human sacrifice method have been faring better oh look at you a man of science right okay so what we're gonna do, mates? What we're gonna do? Tash, net all, punch. What you always do? We just like go. Oh. Well, the thing is, the the question isn't a matter of us going. It's a matter of, it, it, okay. So say for instance we get there, and they have whatever war machine that they've made. There's nothing stopping them from just unleashing the war machine while we are at the stronghold, or vice versa. Like if they unleash the war machine and we engage with that, they could. They're like a two-prong us. Yeah. My point is, they don't seem... I mean, yeah, if you're doing all the talk with anyone else, does anyone else feel this is a real threat or not? Because, <laughs> like, I'm just saying, if we go, we either stop them right then and there, or if it's too big for us on our own, we know exactly what it is, and we can come back and just be like, there's no more hypotheticals. We know what the fuck it is. It's a big fucking metal chardling dragon. You're fucked. Trovis, um, uh, the silver dragonborn, stands up and says, I agree with the adventurers. I say we storm the keep of wherever it is, and we make a last stand that everyone will talk about for ages. Get some glory back in all of these bones. Die fighting like heroes. Uh, Oris, Math uh, uh, Oris <laughs> Matthews, like, well... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to be <laughs> a downer, but while many of us towns can rally uh, uh, defenders, we're not troops. Uh, most people just know how to fight on their own uh, land, and uh, uh, they're fighting to protect what they have. I, it would be a tall order, even if we had explicit proof, to convince them to march south and attack the, the, the keep it, the, itself or what have you. And I, 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 I'm sorry that to say that, uh, uh, mitochondria, but I got to be realistic here. I, I believe you. I believe there's a danger down there, but, uh, and I believe they're, they're about to do something. I think we should support y'all, but I think we need a plan in case, uh, uh, again, sorry, you guys saved our town and we owe you a huge debt of gratitude. Um, or the mines flowing again. We are able to get much more food and things like that, but I, I feel like what we should do is have a plan in case the might of Chondria fails. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you should send people with us. I want people to defend the towns and the people in the towns. Mm -hmm. Trovis goes, oh, that's boring. Trovis, you can come with us. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's to come of us can fucking yeah, you come can with come. us. I'm saying yes! Yes! <laughs> and if yeah. maybe you feel a little guilty about not coming and not sending any people and you wanted to just like, I don't know, give us some cool stuff. Uh, right, if you got, won't be mad about that either, because we're got gonna any, go. Yeah, if you well, got any relics. I think we all magical. agree that uh, you should go, um, and uh, I believe th your reward shall be whatever you find therein. The the Durgar have been stealing apparently for quite some time. Uh, though the riches there shall be more than uh, adequate, and uh, we shall take whatever gold we would have used to help you to help the people. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I don't care. I, the, the main bit is that I want to make sure that the people are protected. Now, if a city doesn't want to lend help to the people and something bad happens, then I think we all know where we can look at for the blame if it ever comes to that. <laughs> well, but, we can't point blame at a time like this. We're all speaking our minds here, and I will, of course, follow whatever the council suggests, but... 
uh, 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 I, Targos. It, it, but right now, um, it we need to defend ourselves if, in case this is true. But right now, we already have the people that can be rallied. Most of our and, and the kind of like. Uh, turns to you and with a kind of condescending tone most of our troops are not are are you know day laborers and fisher folk uh, you know working at the tavern and then when the uh, the horn is called they put down their normal jobs and come it, it's not like we have an army or a sitting army or anything like that that's like everybody here though like everybody does the same like you know, oh i agree you guys, we get it <laughs> that, i i'm i get it that is why i'm saying we should protect the people with the people Oh, and I, I, yeah. I'm so glad we agree. All right. Okay, so, Kadrov, how about half the loot in the stronghold? You bring the contingent with us. Oh, Lord. Um, that seems amenable. So, wait, sorry. Is that cool? I mean, how many people are you going to, I should say, but how many people are you going to bring? Eight! Because uh, we believe we can amass 16 um, warriors while uh, leaving some to defend from... Because there still are bandits about, and uh, <laughs> heck, a big cat could storm into uh, uh, Care all, and we wouldn't like that, would we? So, If you can give us eight... Wait, do you guys all have magic? Um, yeah. <laughs> the magic of faith! Wait, and who stays home? Like, you know, to see the, the invisible people is what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Give a means for that. Are these like mundane warriors with just like sharp pieces of metal and that's about it? We are stout uh, warriors and we saved East Haven. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I believe that. No, I you did I... not. I just... <laughs> um, do, do you have like a means to see the invisible is the question I'm asking. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Then we'll stick with you. Okay. I think that if you can give us eight, we should maximize those eight to help with us and probably defending the towns that are closest to where the Durgar uh, are. Are, wherever the fortress is, whatever cities are the closest down there. Okay. Um, so sorry, say that again. You want to m c try to I convince want basically, them? If he if he's going to give us eight people, which is mm -hmm. fine. If he's going to give us eight, then we, as the mitochondria, are going to have to figure out where we want to put those pieces on the board. I gotcha. Uh, very strategically. So on the uh, uh, map of Iced Wind Dale, let me move you to it. Where are you? Right here. Um, from what it sounds like and from the tugs that Nettle has been receiving, the um, uh, their, their fortress is probably somewhere around here in the uh, uh, green towards the south. Um, no one's quite sure, but they think that it's somewhere down there. It's um, several hours, maybe a day or two, um, from East Haven. And the way that the uh, topography and, and so forth works is there's a frozen river, lake thing called the Red Waters. Um, mm -hmm. But the, uh, the uh, uh, and I'll show you, they bring out a map of, of 10 towns so that you can... Uh, see it, and now you, I am adding um, Dugan's Hole and Good Mead to your version of it. Um, so basically, from this zone, it's hard to tell. There's no town uh, that you could be sure. The only town that is uh, closest to that is the is East Haven, because East Haven has walls and shit like that, but it's farther north and it's technically yeah. not that much farther from Bryn Chander. Um, but Dugan's hold and good meat are technically the most Southern, but depending on where in the circle it is, there's an argument to mean that good meat will get hurt, hit first or Dugan's hold. But also since they're not technically in the path, there's nothing to say that they won't 
loop around or go directly through the middle of them. Um, or, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's hard to say. And, yeah. um, based off. Whatever the thing is, could move in the air, could move underground. It could move on land. I don't know. So yeah. like that also could be a thing. Like if they make a drill monster. Yeah. Who knows what'll pop up. Uh, and yeah, they, they bring, they bring out a, a, the map. They're pointing like, well, seeing there's the problem. We don't quite know where they're going to go. So shouldn't each town, uh, put the, their defenders to their own walls and then rally for aid. Would how fast can aid move? Depending from when we get struck first, anywhere from uh, two hours to sixteen. That's a very long amount of time to wait for aid. Yes, I agree. Which is why it's so dangerous for us to send our troops to another town prematurely. I think, just, okay, so the assumption is that you're sending all capital A troops. That is not the request. You just want to send some troops. Uh, right. Um, if you have a network or a system through which you can communicate much quicker and effectively, uh, say we order a retreat somewhere, and we could send a message very fast to some other place. Um, that would be helpful, just to get the people moving and open. And then in times past, and then. Uh, Duvessa says, in times past, um, uh, Bryn Shander was where people retreated to, as it is the largest. I move that Bryn Shander be our. Um, if if the worst is happening, I move that Bryn Shander is where. Uh, anyone uh, retweets, retreats to. Um, and uh, if Bryn Shander should be attacked first, then uh, we will decide whether we should to go to uh, East Haven or Targos. And uh, Nair says, well, th that sounds fair enough. Uh, do you, do you, is there any system of communication that you guys may have? Any magic, non-magic quick, fast birds, anything to communicate mm. quickly with one another. Uh, no, nothing nothing of the sort. Nair says no. I don't. Damn. We have some fast runners on sleds that we can uh, cut some of that travel time down. Um, light uh, like scouts and things like that, but uh, faster than most can travel across uh, I mean, the plains. But The best you got is what works. Yes, yes. So... Uh, 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 Punchy, can you give me a persuasion check, please? Persuasion? Good thing they're not animals. <laughs> well. Because I would get advantage if they were animals. LOL, 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 LOL. Uh, um, I have no charisma. Um, 15. Don't, don't say that. 50 is pretty good. I love that. That's a great roll. Uh, the speaker sort of nod and, um... The uh, 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 Edra Dernmoot stands up like, well, we're, we're the most southern, so are, are pe some people going to want to send troops to us, just a couple? Because we, we could use the aid. And uh, Kadroth as well. Uh, I kind of see uh, uh, the, the larger towns defending the smaller towns. Uh, so East Haven, perhaps you should send some troops to... Uh, those as they are closest to you, and well, uh, we shall look over um, Ker Koenig. Uh, uh, we can definitely send some troops there. And then, if we get to, you get attacked, we could send some troops south ourselves uh, 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 of our reserve unit. Of course, the the eight will go with the might of country as they see fit. And uh, uh, Oris Matthew says, "Yeah, we we can send troops to uh, Lonelywood. Happy to." And uh, Duvessa says, well, I think the issue is, what do we do with Bryn Shander and Targos' troops? And do we send them to Targos and Goodmead? And Nair says, again, I think we should be defensive uh, on this. We can get to Goodmead fast enough, but as they will, uh, it's probably safer for them to run and uh, uh, with their lives than to save their city because we would all get slaughtered there as opposed to the mighty walls of Bryn Shandor or Targos. Sure. Um, I think it would be wise to have um, 
maybe like a, a small crew of troops, maybe two or three to keep organized and maybe things with which to help people move quickly as they retreat would probably be the smart move. Um, Tor uh, Torvis is like, well, we can uh, provide as many uh, uh, sleds and things like that for folks to help out. We are happy to do that. And Duvess says, yes, we can uh, uh, dig into some of our, our stores as well. And there's a few more muttering uh, agreements as well. Like, yes, that, that, that can work. I'm like, well, then it's decided. Uh, thank you so much, Mitochondria, for what we do. We will uh, send a, a, a small u units down south, but we'll just maintain flexibility and defend our neighbors as we've done in the past. And then if things get grim, we'll fall back to Prince Shander as we've done for decades and centuries. Um, does that seem amenable? It's up to you guys. You're the ones that are in the most danger. Uh, they, they debate a little bit about stuff that is probably extremely in the weeds about food, about horses, about what's left sure, over, sure. Um, who will uh, house the refugees and things of that nature. And uh, they move to a vote. And yeah, they, they agree with um, y'all's plan. Um, and they, they say, well... We wish you the best of luck. Um, I wish there was more we could give, but after this God's damned winter has been draining us, I'm, I'm, we have really are scraping the bottom of the barrel. And if uh, we have to maintain the knife's edge of treating this as um, a threat and not over um, committing in case it's not as bad as we think, uh, so we apologize. I know it might look like cowardice, but the people in this room have made the tough decisions countless times over again, and uh, I, I stand by everything said here, even if I don't technically agree with all of it, uh, Duvessa says. Um, Whatever like, protects the most lives, not cowardice to me. I agree. Um, some of our, uh, our cities have more defensible um, ballista and things like that, some catapults, some... I think the term is mangonels, scorpions, um, that we can help out, uh, as, you know, in some of the towns that have better hunters, uh, will be able to uh, do their best, but this, this is, I'm sure you'll be able to, to handle it, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Well, if there's no other business, I say we conclude this meeting. Around the table, some grumbling yeses and things like that, um, they look at you to see if there's anything else you guys want to say. Wonderful. Well, uh, best of luck to you. And uh, everyone starts filing out and there seems to be little uh, pockets of, of groups chatting with each other about like what they should do. And it's like, okay, there's definitely little clicks here and so forth and so on. All right, we did it. Trovis comes, like, comes like, all right, we're going now. We're going to storm that fortress now. Are you geared? Oh, and he kind of like pats his belly and you hear clink, clink, clink. Like, yeah, I am. Let's go right now. Charge them under the cover of darkness. The... Well, it might okay. take like two days to get there, but I guess yeah, we don't know. Just... It'll... It'll take a minute. Yeah, we got to get all the stuff together. But yes, you're coming. Oh. And then Kadros says, we, it will take me a, a, a little bit of time uh, to send my troops. Do you want me to just have them stationed in Goodmead, or do they, you want me to go to the fortress directly with you? Hmm, this is a good question. That is a good question. Because it sounds like, so the reason I say this, because it sounds like Bryn Shander might send a couple of people to help with the organization of a retreat already. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, then we can take all eight with us. Because my thing was, if they weren't going to, if they were just going to stay hold up, then I was going to say, let's have a couple of these guys, maybe like two per or whatever, just to keep everything stable and put together. Yeah, I kind of feel like if we're going to go to, to the castle, that we should have more people with us when we do that. Yeah, the more people, the better. 
So if they're going to take, if, if Bryn Shander is going to send, like, a person or two to both Goodmead and the Hole, um, to get, to facilitate, like, a, a, a strong tactical retreat, if needed, great. Then we can take all eight. I think that's what it sounds like is happening. That's right? what it sounds like is happening. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah. I think the eight will come to us to the fortress then. Perfect, perfect. We'll make sure a few of them speak dwarven. Um, a few of them have dark vision and uh, some other stout folks. I'm sure okay. you, you will be win much glory. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm up. jealous. I'm gonna do a uh, hug him and I'm gonna pick him up and spin him around and send him back. There. Oh, put me down, you fool! <laughs> uh, can everyone uh, roll a persuasion check, please? Fourteen. Do we need to roll for Pat? Sure. Well, no, it's fine. Okay. Good. Twenty-three. Got a 20, twenty-one. Jesus what? Christ! Hell yeah! What'd you get, Brett? Nineteen. Hell yeah. Which was a nat twenty, but minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was a nat 20, but plus three. Hell yeah. Let's hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Two nat 20s. Pat. Oh, you can't hear. Pat, yeah, Pat roll a there. persuasion check. Oh, there he is. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Just slam it. Just chug it. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Did you roll, roll, roll a persuasion, persuasion check. check? I need you, you. A persuasion? Okay. Yeah. It's a 19. Damn, God. Damn. Damn. Did what did I just do? I don't know. <laughs> well. You just all I, did well. The worst roll was a 14. <laughs> nice job. I'm proud of every one of you. I convinced Tash's mom to go on a date with me? Oh, oh no. shut the fuck up. We talked ah. about this last night. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> There's such an age difference, even though you're aged. <laughs> Who's this old guy? Okay. She is a handsome woman. <laughs> what are you even going to talk about when you're... Because you don't have the life experience. These young kids. <laughs> how, how entitled these young kids are. That's so mean. We were here like, you got games on your, you play Fortnite? No, what did I, what was the, what was that? So where are we at? Tim what, didn't tell did, us. He just wanted us to roll. <laughs> what did I just persuade? I don't know. Tim just made us roll it. Okay. None of us know. Yeah. I'm we're sure all going to take 20 damage probably. Yeah. You actually wanted to roll low on this roll, actually, so... Actually, so now there's too many chiefs. <laughs> yeah. <Not awkward. laughs> they're going to fight too hard. They're so inspired, they won't retreat, and they're all going to die. Um, so, yeah, that was basically just a secret persuasion check. Wah, 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 wah. What's up, Old Flex? Thank yes. you so much, D. Martin G. Um, we got to get Pat to do the Icarus pose. The, like... <laughs> wait, which one is that? That's the, it's like you do wings or whatever. <sighs> Not Icarus, my character, but now I want my character Icarus to do that. I love it. Um, okay, so basically, Pat, what happened is they uh, they're gonna you guys are gonna bring eight black swords with you when you and and um, Trovis uh, when you attack. Uh, Trovis That's wants to go okay. right now, um, but. Okay. Trovis is definitely going to be the squad leader of the Black Swords, right? Like, definitely, we're going to tell him, you take your orders from this guy. Like, <laughs> I ain't doing that. Catra says he, he'll need, like, a day, and he'll... Yeah. Um, yeah, how about it says well, you'll all meet down in um, East Haven uh, and okay. head out to Mary, um, or something along those lines. Um, me. Anything else you want to do? Um, not at the meeting, but to satiate Trovis's, uh, itch, mm -hmm. uh, he and I can spar. Hell yeah, let's go! Give me an athletics check. Athletics or acrobatics? I'm a monk. A athletics. Shit. Shit. <laughs> 16. Flex <sighs> again. Okay, basically because he's trying to, uh, he's really going hard once on one flex, thank you so much. Um, uh, yeah. in a, a way that you're, that is like, okay... I see what he's doing. He's trying to muscle me, so uh, let's go. But you roll much better than he did, uh, and it's a great uh, for you, I think. Who's? Yeah, and I'm blindfolded, so I'm I'm looking real sleek. Yeah, definitely. 
um, yeah, you uh, Trovis, you get an extra little bit learning on uh, how Trovis operates, and he trusts you a little bit better. So uh, in the chaos times to come, maybe he'll listen to you better. Who's to say? Um, but I mean, I'm you know if, you could be you could be fucking just departing from East Haven. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Um, may I finish the health potion? Yes. Let me make sure how many do I have left. I have two left. Um, Nettle, uh, your good friend, uh, Nimsy Huddle of Lonelywood says, it was good to see you again. And, well, my, my children wanted to say hello to, uh, the, 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 the funny one. And they made you these. And it's a, um, uh, a, a sack of ugly cookies like they try to do some not smart uh, uh, shapes this one's supposed to be a moose but it just kind of looks like I don't know the, a blob of some sort but they, they taste pretty good all things considered I love it Tash look we got more cookies hell yeah oh, we got more oh heck yeah oh this is gonna be so good I'm so excited we are running real low, and we, you know, Nettle gets cranky if we don't have cookies, uh, and I, I get cranky. Thank you. <laughs> Your cookies are the best cookies of all the cookies. Don't tell us the other cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's quite a compliment. Thank you so much. Uh, and then she bids her, her, her goodbyes, as well as giving her thanks. Uh, and then Velian uh, meets you at some point. And like, all right, this sounds this sounds weird, but can I have a piece of your hair? Uh, I I do have magic, and I am able to contact you in case things get bad. Um, and uh, each of us, or just one of us? All of you, just in cases. Okay. Uh, 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 uh punch. What? You want a piece of air? Uh... In case of what? So I can contact you. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of hair. Yeah, but it, you it, it other, helps. You can do sometimes. other stuff with spells. Do you need too. one from Took too? Uh, does he? Is he? No, I don't. What? Uh. <laughs> I just more about like, like hair in hand, like what? Yeah, no, I just like it a feels full a whole patch of Took fur. But yeah. that ain't the only <laughs> spell you can do with air, is it? Probably not. Uh, no, it's not. Of course. But I check. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was like, why would I be worried? Yeah, go ahead and roll inside yeah. check. I mean, she Same says... I, am. I mean, she's agreeing that there's other spells that she can use it for. Yeah. Right. I yes. mean, first off, being able to scry you is going to be super helpful. Yeah, 10, I trust her. You can have some of the S and I... Into his nose. And pulls, like, the longest nose hair you've ever seen. Ew! <laughs> there is much power in nose hairs. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's I give so one of my... Gross. I'm going to look... Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to Deadeye and just put my hand on your beard. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the whole thing. No, I pluck like a one of my new white hairs. Yeah, that's her. yeah. All right. So you all do it. Mm. Yes. Cool. Like, well, good luck down there. Uh, We're gonna fight our <laughs> evil clones later. Yay! Yay! Um, God only knows what you're gonna go up against, but I'll be uh, uh, assisting the townspeople and. Um, also, heck, if this was all overblown, um, then uh, when you get back, we can uh, uh, find that uh, gosh dang demigod in that hidden city. Hard Absolutely. to believe, right? Whew. Fun times that we are living in, I suppose. But I Hell need my yeah. rest. This has been a, quite the day. Hell yeah. That's all I have for you here. Let's go get pissed. Okay, you guys get drunk. Roll for getting drunk. I get roll it. for getting drunk. <laughs> uh, Susie, roll a d100. I rolled a four. Oh, I'm oh, not shit. good at getting drunk. <laughs> fuck. fuck. Um, ooh, should I use my new dice? And then I'll have to do the math myself. Yes. Hell yeah. Use dice to do okay. the math. Which ones? Let's see. I'll do the ones that I can't read. Okay. Oh, that'd be too hard. <laughs> uh, I, I can do it. I can do it. Damn, Pat gave us one for free just then. There you go. Oh. Zoning. Okay, which one comes first? I think I. Oh, okay. The one okay. with two digits. Yeah. yeah. Eighty-eight. 
That's a great role. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, there's a moment where there's some Targosians that say something kind of rude. Um, uh, good luck, mud of Chondria. <laughs> and uh, you're able to uh, not escalate and murder them in the streets. And uh, everyone gives you a... <laughs> Listen, I will befriend everybody in Targos and turn them against their leader. I will do that. Because I am big and I have a background feature that makes people love me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People I'm do love saying. me. Yeah, this is always a gaggle of children following you through town. Like, hee hee ha ha, hoo ha. Um, yeah. Anything else you guys so want to do before you depart East Haven in like a day or two? Um, the one thing I want to make an attempt. Okay. To craft, like, if you went said it whatever difficulty is 20 so like the, the laser rifle has um a standard range of 100 feet but mm -hmm. uh a maximum range of 300 feet with mm -hmm. but that would be with difficulty mm -hmm. i wanted to possibly do a roll to rig up like basically i look at the rifle I look at, like a spyglass i look at the rifle i look at a spyglass <laughs> if i can rig up a scope Okay. On it. That would give me the full 300 feet of range without disadvantage. Give me Jesus Christ. Um, no, I, just about, like general artificery. Like I'm trying to. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the uh, using a quote unquote um, flavor of a character to do something that they most likely would do. Like how I say, wizards should, could probably conjure fire whenever they want. That's what I think. Yeah. Um, but maybe I not. Agree I agree. So. Uh, you yeah, put a scope, a flesh scope on your flesh rifle. Yeah, it's, it's no this was not the flesh. This is the laser rifle we got from Squibbly Boys. Oh, is this the one that That's I also have? You have uh, one of the you pistols. Have the pistol. Yeah, yeah. You both have pistols, and you have the yeah. Didn't is it fleshy? Yeah, we got these from the Squibbly Squibbly Men. No, yeah, it's not I thought fleshy. this weapon was described as like fleshy. I think no. this one's fleshy. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> It is a fleshy rifle. Yeah, every, oh, everything fine. is fleshy. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't have said it for no reason. <laughs> yeah. You're always calling stuff fleshy. Uh, I do like calling things fleshy and yeah. velvety. I mean, but... I basically want to create a scope that can be attached. That yeah, it I love effectively. it. I love I can... it. Give me a roll, bud. All right. Roll. <sighs> roll me... that, bud. You want me to help? I was, was going to use Arcana because that's like the stand-in they suggest for artificery. Is your... Yeah. Construct based that is a thirteen plus seven, so a dirty twenty. Okay, I uh, it's you're not too sure how much it's going to help, but you don't use one of the bullets uh, trying to uh, test it inside it. It feels sturdy, um, but uh, we'll see. Tell you okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Any other things? I just got to storm a fucking castle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, let's let's go brass tacks. You bring a carriage. I think. Yes, of course. Do you think, well, are we faster on our individual axe beaks yes. than the carriage? I think we go with speed. We go with speed. Does our... all of us have axe beaks? In case we need to fuck the fuck Not off. Trovis. Yeah, we'll not, we... and not the oh. eight people. Right. Are we bringing sonar? Oh yeah, yes. sauna. So, yeah, we're bringing sauna with that. Pot. She could punch the fucking doors in. I think we should bring it because we have. Okay. We we have a lot of people. Worst case, we could put them. Okay, so. That's fine. Yeah, because we're just it. It, we don't need to punch it. You're right. You're too smart, punch. <laughs> we should bring it. I am not. I have a very low intelligence. Score. Okay. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> um. I have high wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> I love that because cool. my intelligence is a 19 and my wisdom is a 10. We complement yeah, each other. So it's our best friends. We should probably bring uh, the cart to put all the treasure that we're going to find in it. Totally. Yes. Love it. Let's do it. Yeah, otherwise the black swords are going to take it all. <laughs> yeah, those guys suck. Shame yeah. we get half, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll, we'll leave half for you for sure when you come back tomorrow. Uh, cool beans, baby. You, Trovis, the Black Swords, leave from goddamning East Haven uh, 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 a day and a half later. Um, it's a, it's cold. 
Hey, surprise, surprise. Take a drink. It's cold. Um, it's a dark morning. Uh, uh, the black swords uh, I come on uh, kind of large sleds, and Trovis comes with nothing. And it's like, I thought I would just ride with you. I don't know. And he has uh, a, a pack on that does a lot of bottle clanking. And uh, Sonar is, is ready to go. Guy. Like, that's fine. Let's go, baby. This is going to be crazy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> My life's a movie. Wow. Uh, and the eight um, people uh, uh, from the uh, Black Swords, uh, unfortunately, Kadroth slightly misunderstood the uh, request. Huar is there. Um, oh. That's fine. I'm you fine too. with like, Oh, these Fuck assholes. You. Are you serious? Come oh. on. Come on. I think um, I found a recall in Scout. <laughs> <laughs> People like that People one. Like that People one. Like that. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, you know a mix of 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 McFrickin, um fantasy races. You got my favorite humans, uh, tieflings. Uh, you got a dwarf. Um, oh, I got a text message. Um, do were any of them one of the ones that were impressed? By me and Tash doing our Cirque du Soleil in the fucking. It's hard to tell because everyone is, was in, is and was in quite cold weather gear. True, but we weren't looking like we weren't looking to see who we impressed. I just didn't like. Would they? they oh, would they're like, like oh, dear, okay. What's they up? were cool. Uh, the uh, the lead of them um, is a Goliath uh, named um, uh, Brenner. And uh, he says, well, uh, may the, the, the Vistas look upon us and bless this uh, voyage. It's good to be back with, with you heroes and uh, acolytes of the Cold One himself. If half the, tr the, the rumors are true about uh, the, the Asmodeus worshipping Duragar, then uh, the Vistas will guide our blades and many, many treasures shall be before us. Uh, both in this life and the next. True. Uh, how tall is he? Um, he's like eight feet tall. Ooh. I'm a little taller. So I <laughs> give him a handshake. Okay. Okay. You, uh, you scooch. Your quote unquote motley crew leave some of the, the townspeople as you left uh, Bryn Shander um, and came to East Haven uh, gave you extra food. Um, like better food that can uh, last in the cold. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Trovis came with mostly wine and ale um, and uh, things like that and beef jerky, which he pretty much eats constantly. Um, and uh, the uh, black swords are more or less self-sufficient. Um, um, they are, all use the cultist uh, uh, six of them use the cultist um, stat block, and then uh, two of them use the cult fanatic uh, uh, stat block. And uh, yeah, they you guys leave, and uh, you leave into the frozen wastes of southern McFreaking Icewind Dale. Nettle, you feel the tug leading you south uh, much in the same direction you went when you followed Tash's tug but uh, uh, two days later uh, you pass that uh, valley and you continue on south the mountains get bigger the the terrain gets uh, freaking harder your your ascent goes slower making less and less time each and every day mittens Give me a survival check, baby. Tim, when Too do we good. meet the uh, polar bear lady? That's a good point. It has been a million days. So um, I, I'm, I'm curious how you're going to do that as well. Do you have any she, ideas? <laughs> we did not ask for any hair. She would have been great to bring with. So I rolled another nat 20, which is a 24. Hell yeah, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, your your polar bear friend is somewhere around here. Um, and since our good friend Mittens, it rolled so well, you're able to see uh, that there, um, the, the telltale signs of potentially another um, 
natural hot spring. And uh, on day three, you get there, and uh, you're uh, you, yeah, you see a big ass nude Goliath woman in chilling in the hot springs. You get a uh, hot springs episode, and she she sleep, and, and and you can get close, and she doesn't move. Sleeping in the nude in a hot spring. What a power move. Oh yeah. Uh, Ahoy hoy. <laughs> and she you immediately turns into a bear. Oh, it's you! Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> How's it hanging? Uh, lo low and lazy, or whatever it is. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> cool. We're I've gonna go storm a fortress of Durgar. You wanna come with? Still, yes. It's been about a month since I saw you, I Fuck think. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, these, fo these folks are with us, too. I've just been chilling. I left for a week, so it's good you found me. When you did, I was gone. Um. Uh, hi everybody. Good to meet you. How are you? Cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cold. Well, you got room in there for another? Yeah, get in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do we have time? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could have a Hot Springs episode, in my opinion. I mean... You know, we technically do because I'm not going to make you do anything else because we're taking a week off. And I don't want to, mm. you know, what that's I'm what I'm saying. So, why don't we just like look at everybody and be like, hot, hot spring, warm up before we get loose? Lord. Before we get let's busy. have a pot, let's break out the rations, let's have a potty. Kind of like a that's hurrah. Hell yes, go. let's go, baby. Yeah, get the mead. Uh, Trovis is he does a giant cannonball in the um. Uh, uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> splashes everyone like god damn it uh, the uh, um, the black swords they partake in delicious um, uh, treats but they don't really get in the water or anything like that um, uh, do all of you like that one Marvel could we get an art piece that one Marvel spread we're on vac all the X-Men are on vacation wearing ridiculous swimsuits <laughs> Yes, no, please. <laughs> I want that. Give me, um, give are they scared me. of the water, or are they just, like, not interested in getting in the hot tub? Yeah, they're just like, this is kind of silly. Okay, cool. They're not, like, scared of it. Mittens gets in the water and, like, just dirt. <laughs> oh. It's loud. It just gets darker and darker, the water. <laughs> Maybe it's best we don't go in there. Yeah, oh, God, and it's, like, cooking. Uh, <laughs> Mittens has to smell like earring backs and nickels. Earring Oh, wow. What a bad. Oh, oh, no. I don't like that. Huh. He's, well, he's wet now, so like, and like stewing, so you know yeah. there's a smell coming out of there. Uh, How are you guys going to get we all dry? Just move into like a different hot spring. <laughs> I'm just going to throw one of my like tea bags in there with Mittens. <laughs> so it's like very floral in there now. I'm uh, see, how are you guys gonna get out without dying to death? I uh, could do thunder wave and blow dry us. Okay, that would work. But I like it. I like where your head's at. I'm gonna chill with the uh, the black sword people. Okay. So that they can get acclimated to us easier. Like I'm gonna be the plastic bag of our aquarium. Okay. Oh. Are you, gonna, are you trying to like wrap and bond with? Guar and be like, listen, man, your mom, she needs you. You gotta go. I home think out of all of us, I would probably be the first to break through his chitinous. Yeah, that's why I said you, not me. Yeah, like, definitely not me. Yeah, we'll all be cuddling by the end of it, probably. But you know, we'll see. Okay. Uh, uh, Oya Mina talk. Um, is drinking and laughing with Trovis a lot. Um. And you guys uh, uh, get a, you know, the, the tension leaves your shoulders in the hot, hot springs. Um, the uh, black swords, you know, they're a little reticent around you at first, but they are eventually cool down <laughs> um, to y'all. And um, yeah. What? Ah. Uh. So I actually, have, this is like, like we can deal with it, but 
the the black swords have they been told they've been given orders to like listen to us or they're kind of like to do your own thing and help them fight? or i don't know like where what's yeah they what's um the hierarchy here yeah they uh they they know to uh defer to you but they are also kind of like their own unit so if you tell them to do yeah. something they're not going to sacrifice themselves but <laughs> yeah i met yeah i imagine they have their own like protocols and stuff for self-preservation i my my opinion is that we should what is the dude's the, the goliath is like you said like the kind of their brenner head guy yeah brenner brenner yeah i would say that we should make sure that uh brenner and trovis are chummy because I trust Trovis, and I feel like they would work fun together. Okay. So I think we should make sure that they're kind of good. I like that. What would you roll for that? A persuasion? A deception, maybe? Um, performance? I don't know. Um, I can roll animal handling. Not that. Not that. <laughs> yeah, not that one. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Roll friendship. friendship. Roll friendship. Like, like persuasion, right? Like you're like, I think hey, it's persuasion, you yeah. He's I'm, good. I'm not them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not deceiving them. I think it'd just be like a tactically speaking. Well, I, yeah, I guess like tactically speaking, if like if we aren't able to communicate, oh, I see. Defer to Trovis or yeah, just open up the communication between our, our, the triangle Everybody. of Trovis, us, in them, so that we're all like good. Okay. You can do a team building exercise. All right, give me a persuasion check then, huh? Here we go. Yes, fifteen. Hell yeah! At first, uh, Brenner is a little uh, 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 not really into it. This Trovis guy is kind of annoying, but they eventually find uh, common ground in that they both were in quite the hairy situation. Um, in, in the, the sea of moving ice uh, at one point or the other, and they trade tales of what they did to survive and start laughing about how sometimes they miss uh, uh, seal blubber, even though it at first made them want to vomit, but now, you know what? I got friendly vibes. And you know, even, Brenner even has a little bit of, of, of Trovis's drink. <laughs> they're, there they're, they're, you know, it's, it's a nice situation. Hell yeah. All right. Well, how about we wrap things up there? No session next week. Um, we'll see you all in two weeks with the storming of Fortress Sunblight. Oh um, yeah. I'm Tim, sure you, level up? you did, actually. I'm not kidding. We did? You, you're, yeah. you are did leveling up. Thank you for reminding me. Because I was Yay. like, I meant to say it earlier, and then Wayne. I get distracted. I love you. You're level. Okay, the up power now. of friendship. I was like, I really hope all this get friendship levels is up. Tim, what um, what was the? How do I spell the name of the polar bear Goliath? O y a m i n a r t o k. It's simple. Mm -hmm. okay. Pat, do you um, remember are we the allowed deal to we call her Oya for short? <laughs> yeah, short. <laughs> Pat said, "Do you remember the deal?" Wait, the deal you made last night with Pat. Yeah. Do you remember? One sub, one flex. No. One sub, one flex. Thank you so one much. One flex. I, I drank a lot of tequila during that session. Last I night. did too. <laughs> <laughs> I have what to get it. Not, but I don't right? remember what that was. No, Browning out with the homies on a Wednesday? Deal, What's up? The, the oh, deal yeah. that Pat made to sleep with Tash's mom. Oh, oh we I did. remember I, that. I remember we had the conversation, but I don't remember what the terms of the bargain that were struck. Oh, were. that sucks for you. Damn. Damn. Oh, no, I think I remember what that deal was. Jennifer, <laughs> tell me. No, no Jennifer, it's don't. fine. No. <laughs> That's funny. He had to post feet. Uh, okay. How about we give um, our uh, 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 plugs? Let's start with you, Brett. If it if it's a quiet time, is it a quiet enough time for you to do it? I guess. Yeah. Breaks Hello. <laughs> yeah, I am Brett. Follow me on Twitter at Brett Eagles. Links in the bio to music that I make. And if you haven't listened to my music yet, you should do so because you probably are paying for one of those services, and then. 
you can listen to me for free on them if Hell you're already paying yeah. for them. I guess it's not free, but it's, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, really. And then uh, me and Pat have a podcast. Let's rewatch. We watch all movies that we love in our youth. Find out if they're still any good, and sometimes they are, and sometimes they are not. Uh, and new episode out on tomorrow. Tomorrow oh, yeah. new episode. So yeah, that's it. That's me. Tw- Bread Eagles Twitter. Uh, Susie. Susie, you can find me at Susie underscore Checky um, everywhere. Um, literally everywhere. Um, and also at UAPcast on Twitter, we do a podcast where we play D&D and it's super fun. Release episodes every Wednesday. Uh, Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer Pegg. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram and wherever else at Jen Pegg. I'm a freelance illustrator and artist. So go check me out. Uh, Pat. Matt the Pat Edwards. Listen to Let's Rewatch. Keep playing here. Buy buy my books. That'd be cool. I got a really cool new uh, project in the works as well. So check that out. Love you. Josh. Hello, it's me. I'm Josh. You can find me all across the internet at Josh Sketh. That's at J O S K E T H. Um, uh, uh, if you like butts, go to my Instagram. If you like me spouting off random BS all day, go to my Twitter. Um, I'm here. I'm on Naruto Revuto with Tim, where we watch episodes of Naruto and Revuto them. We're out of filler now, so we get to be cool. Um, I don't know what else. What else am I doing? That's it. Party. Party. What's up on Flex? What's up on Flex? Flex? Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, D. Martin G. I love it. I love it. Take it in my mouth. I kissy. I was going to say, like, kiss, take it in my mouth and then blow it back out. But then I said it. I was like, I should stop talking. Uh, Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. You can find me on uh, Twitter, at Tim Lanning. Uh, Like I said, no stream next week. Um, Enjoy it. Uh, Go to the pool. Um, But uh, we will see you in two weeks' time, I assume, unless there's something else. Um, uh, uh, Yeah, thank you so much, and I'll check you out later. Bye.